Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 18th of 2019. Well, it is titled Interstellar Interloper 2i slash Borisov. So what do we see here? Well, this image looks a little bit like a comet and it is a cometary like object. But it is actually something from space and from outside of our solar system. And what we mean by that is that most objects that we look at are within our own solar system that we, that our planetary bodies, comets, asteroids, they all come from our solar system and formed with our sun about 5 billion years ago. This one is a little bit different in that it comes from outside of our solar system. Now, how do we know that it does? Well, we can certainly look at some of the properties and how it's moving and based on the uh, velocity with which it is heading towards the sun and its uh, path that it follows, we can determine that it must have come from outside our solar system. Now this should not be something very hard to imagine. When we talk about the formation of our solar system, a lot of objects are ejected out into space. So they pass close to a planet and may acquire enough energy to escape from our solar system and head out into interstellar space. Now interstellar space is so vast that the odds of any one of these passing near another star would be minuscule. But of course there are billions upon billions of them from each solar system meaning there are so many out there that eventually one of them will come close and in fact we've had a couple of them come close uh, with a couple years ago Oumuamua we saw come very close to our sun a very long elongated object and now we see another a different type of object a more cometary like object Oumuamua although very elongated looked more like an asteroid type object and had a, a more solid structure to it this one is behaving much like a comet and even though it's out beyond the orbit of Mars now in and approaching quickly it is showing the signs that we would see here in this Hubble image of, of a comet. And that is a nucleus towards the center, which we cannot see, which is probably only a few kilometers in size, and then a halo around it. And that is material that is vaporized off the comet. Now this would not happen while it is in interstellar space. This only happens when it gets close to another hot object as our sun. So when it gets close enough to the sun, it is heated up material is vaporized off the surface and allows us to be able to see this. And that's why we can see it because it, it is getting so close to the sun and it is having material that has been vaporized off the surface that forms this coma and even tail that you can start to see stretching back. Now this should continue to increase over uh, the coming weeks as this gets closer and closer uh, to our sun and in fact will pass closest to the sun on December the 7th of this year at a distance of about two astronomical units or about two times the Earth's distance from the sun. So it'll never get really close to the sun but it will get relatively close to the sun and hopefully we'll have a better chance to study it over the coming weeks and that will help us learn more about these objects that come from outside our solar system and help us to learn more about other uh, solar systems other objects within the universe. So that was our picture of the day for October the 18th of 2019. It was titled Interstellar Interloper 2i slash Borisov. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be Pluto at night. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.